Soya Filter Troubleshooting. Remember to clean your filter daily to ensure years of use. Always wash your hands with soap and water before handling the filter. Always filter water into a clean, decontaminated storage vessel or you will run the risk of recontaminating the water. Make sure you wash the storage vessel and the filter cap with soap and water. Never run soapy water through the filter. Occasionally, an air bubble in the hose might cause water flow to be interrupted. Simply backwash the filter with filtered water in the reverse direction of the flow arrow to restore the flow. If your filtering bucket has a lid, it is important to vent the lid to avoid an air vacuum which will restrict water flow. Be sure to use a sturdy food grade bucket. Avoid anything that previously stored chemicals, paint, or odorous food like pickles. Avoid over-tightening the filter to a bottle, bladder, or tube coupling to prevent damage to the washers. The maximum PSI for filtering and backwashing is 20 PSI. Do not exceed this pressure forwards or backwards on the filter. If backwashing does not adequately clean your filter, try alternating forwards and backwards flushing. Fill the cleaning plunger with filtered water, then push water in the forwards direction, in the same direction as the flow arrow. Refill the cleaning plunger with filtered water and push water in the reverse direction of the flow arrow. Repeat this process three times in each direction. If backwashing in both directions doesn't get your filter flowing again, soak the filter in warm water for one hour to loosen up any sediment in the filter. Do not use water that is too hot to stick your hand into. After soaking, forcefully backwash in both directions. If your water is mineral rich, soak the filter in vinegar for 30 minutes, followed by forceful backwashing with warm, filtered water. This may take several vinegar soaking tries. Sawyer also recommends occasionally sanitizing your filter. To do this, mix one white filter cap of standard fragrance-free bleach solutions with one liter of water. Then backwash the filter with the bleach solution. Air dry in a cool, dry place before using. Important, Sawyer does not advise tapping or banging the filter to loosen dirt as part of the backwashing process. Store your filter kit out of direct sunlight when not in use and make sure the filter does not freeze. Also keep out of reach of children.